All right, you guys, happy Monday, July 15th. This is the Team Glow Coach Zoom. And I dare to say it's probably the most important Zoom to date because you are not just going to hear from me. You're going to hear from everyone who can make the Zoom tonight that was at Summit this past weekend. So it coming from me, someone who's been to Summit six times, I take something away different every single time. But hands down, this was my absolute favorite year because I talked to some of you guys about this that were there. It just felt like the having 14 of you there to experience it all together and to know where we're going as a company and to know that so many of you have already committed to next year's summit, which obviously everyone needs to be there. It just is, is pretty surreal. And it really makes me believe that we can put the work in place to reach our team goal and to be recognized next year and to have you guys recognize um, on stage for your hard work next year. It's, it's just something that I, I don't even think I can really describe how much it's, it's going to mean to us when it, when we achieve it, because I know we will, we've got a lot of work to do the rest of this year, but oh my gosh, I am so excited for it. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go over just a couple announcements and then I'm going to share the really general summit announcement. Hopefully you guys all know this, but your coach breaking news of your coach office is where you can find pretty much everything going on. Okay. So coach office, coach breaking news when you log in. Also the FAQs, like if you've probably heard about some of the things that are releasing that we're going to go over quickly tonight, but anything that you, that Beachbody has put its name on, there's an FAQ behind it from Beachbody supports. So you can Google Beachbody Collagen Peptides FAQ, and it'll take you to the FAQ about our new collagen peptides. And then you can read up about it and really do your own research. So while I, as the leader of this team, I will always let you know what is going on as your own CEO of your own business. You should be doing that as well, right? You should be taking initiative and saying, even if I was at summit, not at summit, doesn't matter. What matters right now is what's new and how do I leverage that for my own business? Okay. So real quick announcements, um, the sneak peek. We did a Team Glow sneak peek, and I saw some names I don't recognize. I don't think I recognize every name on here. So there might be some people that are popping on tonight to uh, check out our Coach Zoom. So if this is you and you're not a coach, welcome. Don't be overwhelmed by the information. Just really soak it all in, and you can swipe your screen and see who's on here. Um, this is my team. This is their team. We're all a part of Team Glow, which obviously, I don't say this enough, but stands for gracefully lifting other women because no one's perfect, and we're just trying to raise each other up. Okay, so we did have a sneak peek going on while those of us were at Summit. Um, I will ask that for all of my coaches, send me the names of people who enrolled because you don't need to send me the names if they didn't enroll. I know who's a coach and who's not. So if you, when you have someone enroll as a coach by tonight, just message me their name so that I do not remove them from the team page, okay? If I don't hear from you about a certain person, I am removing everyone tomorrow who's not a coach because we need to team, keep Team Glow exclusively coaches, okay? but you have until tonight to enroll so you can stay in our team page. So I'd love to talk more, not tonight because we, this is not really our focus, but I'd love to talk more about your feedback on that. Um, maybe privately or in a, in a group again, but I, I think it went well to do it in our team page and I would like to do it again because that really keeps the focus on having a sense of urgency and also for whoever's checking out our team to check out our culture as well. You know, it's not just sharing a story here and there. It's really what we are a part of as a community. And they can see that in our team page. Second announcement, you guys, hopefully everyone knows this morning meltdown 100 launches for customers tomorrow. Okay. That means that the 10 workouts that we did have are going away, but they will be back on July 29th. We still have the mini meltdowns. Customers still get access to the mini meltdown five workouts plus ordering two weeks early gives them the opportunity to get anything they would order in the mail to arrive at their house so that they can have everything they need. I love the journal. I'm so excited about the hardbound notebook. It's really great. I'm definitely someone who likes to journal, not a ton, but if it's a little bit of writing each day, I love that. So I really recommend the accessories bundle um, for anyone going through morning meltdown. But that is tomorrow. And as you guys know, $20 off all morning meltdown challenge packs. It'll be available for everyone. They can still enroll as coaches, but it's now available for customers for early access tomorrow. And then every 100 workouts are going to release on July 29th. If you guys have any questions about this too, I know I'm going through these quickly, but please comment in the comment box. I will be checking that. So just feel free to drop questions or comments in there as we go along. Okay. And before I jump into the announcements, obviously the biggest one is Summit 2020 is in New Orleans next 
year, literally like a year from now, I think it's the same weekend. I mean, give or take a date or two. Um, New Orleans, you guys, I, I had my feelings about New Orleans years ago, but also I was six weeks postpartum and was probably a little crazy, but they really did learn from two years ago, right? They're going to have, they're going to change things up that we're not walking back and forth through the convention center to the Superdome. There's going to be days we're only at the Superdome days. We're only at the convention center. We have a coach's husband who is from there that is going to be our like tour guide through new Orleans. So we'll be good. Um, hopefully everyone knows Ryan Brown. If you don't, you'll get to know him because he's pretty great photographer slash tour guide. Um, so we really, really, really are excited about this, you guys. And it's one year away, but don't think that one year is going to take a long time to get to. It's not one year goes scary fast, but here's what I want you to do. And I hate the term tough love. I prefer the term like talking to you as a human being. If you're a business owner in this business and you do not buy your ticket to summit, why are you a coach? Literally, there, there's nothing aside from one person you know I'm talking to and you don't ignore this. There's nothing that you have one year from now that you, that shouldn't be summit on your agenda, right? It's not a family vacation time. It's not a time for, um, I don't know, pick something that you can plan. Don't plan it that weekend, right? This is your business. You have to be there. If it's money that's holding you back, even more of a reason because you need to be at a point where you're way financially successful in this business that you can fund your own trip. And if you don't go, you are, yes, you can get the information, but you are just missing out on time with our team and being there in person. And you're going to hear from these girls, not just from me about what it's done for them. So right now, tonight, order your summit ticket for 2020, because this is the cheapest it is going. It's less than a bag of Shakeology for a customer. It's $125 for your summit ticket, but you have to order by tonight. I'm a Dave Ramsey financial peace person. And I don't like credit cards, even though we tear us off right away. If you have to though, you guys put it on a freaking credit card. Buy it tonight, make that commitment to yourself and your business that you will be here one year from now. And not only that, you'll be on stage at Summit because you've earned something that's worth extreme recognition for all of your hard work in your business, okay? And if anyone comes to me and is like, I just can't, I don't know, then you need to get back to your why and you need to get back to your mindset and say, this is a decision, I will be there. And you gotta put a little faith into it, a lot of faith into it and a lot of hard work. Okay, because I'm still a little bit brain fried from three days at Summit, but I'm feeling stronger than I've ever felt in our team and in our belief and in the mission of Beachbody and where we're going. You need to be there 100,000%. Okay. And super weekend in two weeks, treat that like a mini summit. I can't tell you how many times people miss super weekends and, you know, think it's not a big deal. It's a big deal. This is your business. And that's a quarterly meeting. It's four times a year, a mini summit to bring more belief and inspiration and positivity and connection with local coaches in your area. Two weeks from now, make sure you know where your super weekend event is. Get yourself to one, okay? Especially, not especially, if you're at Summit or not, you need to get a super weekend to keep that momentum going and firing. Really quick, six announcements, and I'm gonna go through. I'll pretty much, if you were there, guys, if you, when, when the time comes, just put your hands up, because I know, again, my brain, I got home at 3 a.m. last night. Um, I will call on you guys, and I'll, hopefully I'll give you enough time to talk for a couple minutes if you want about your experience. But I'm gonna go through the announcements really quick. And if I missed an announcement, I probably did to say that when you talk, if you went, okay? So summit announcements. We tried to share as much as we could in the team page, but here goes. Collagen peptides is the big one. Collagen was available for us to purchase at Summit. I believe it's available pretty soon, like next couple weeks on teambeachbody.com. Um, $26 for coach price. I want to say $34 for customer price. Collagen, if you don't know, is a supplement to really enhance hair, skin, and nails. Um, it's a really popular supplement that's been a lot of other like reputable health and fitness companies have been using. And of course, with Beachbody standards, we know it's clean, organic, um, a very healthy supplement to add. I literally just had it in my Shakeology, can't taste it. I don't know if you guys have tried collagen. I think a lot of you have. You, It has no taste. Like it's just great to add to shakes, even to mix in water. Um, it's really, really great. And for me, whose nails are always breaking, like I'm really excited for collagen. Peppermint Mocha Shakeology is a limited edition. <laughs> It was funny how Carl announced it. He kept like putting on jackets and hats, like announcing the next Shakeology flavor. Peppermint Mocha, I think November, right guys, is a limited edition Shakeology flavor. And Pumpkin Spice is coming back, limited edition. September, they will make more because we sold out in like 24 to 48 hours. Um, pumpkin Spice, Peppermint Mocha for the holidays. Vegan Beach Bar, just November, December. 
correct me if I'm wrong, vegan beach bar, regardless. I know a couple of you guys that are non-dairy were freaking out about that one. Um, here's something really cool, promo codes for challenge pack sales. If you are an active coach, which I think everyone on this call should be active, that means you're using products or and helping people, you will get, an, I got mine today, you should be getting an email with three promo codes to send to potential coach or challenger prospects for $10 off a challenge pack. Um, I, that's $10 off an addition, the, an already sale price, like with morning meltdown 100. But that's a really cool thing that they're doing because now they're giving it to new coaches too. They get th uh, three promo codes to send to people to hopefully help them get their first win as a coach, but they're also sending them to all of us. So we're able to really use this um, to drive the morning meltdown launch tomorrow and to give people an extra incentive to join us as their coach and really give them an extra sale price. So if you didn't get that email and you are active, maybe give it until tomorrow, but um, you should be getting it soon. I got mine this afternoon. Six weeks of work. Is that what it's called? Six weeks of work with crazy, with crazy guy. Uh, the NBA trainer, he's crazy, but he seems amazing. Um, if you haven't seen the promo video for it yet, there's an explicit version and there's a clean version. So this guy is like, probably not for your grandma, but he is super intense. It's like just an intense program that's releasing in September, I, I believe September uh, for early access. And it's, he's an NBA trainer. So like he's very athletic based and it's an extremely intense workout program. And if you want to hear all the, like the F-bombs, then you go the explicit and you can also keep it clean if your kids are around. But I know some of you guys are like, that's my jam. And I'm so excited. I'm, I'm going to do it. Of course I'm going to do it. Um, but I'm excited. Not, not for your beginners or maybe people that are a little more might be offended by that, but there is a clean version. So I kind of like the beach body, just what D G A F and just does whatever appeals to the masses. Okay. Last one that I have, and again, I might've been, might've missed some here. I'm going on like not much sleep, a uh, bar program. I'm blanking on the name. If someone can tell me the name, drop it in the chat box. Elise from three week yoga retreat. She's the blonde in the three week yoga retreat. I really liked her. Uh, she is coming out with a bar program, which is really exciting. Bar blend. Thank you, Maria. Bar blend is launching in December. It's beach body on demand. Really great for beginners, but also bar is pretty intense in, in and of itself. There's no equipment needed. Uh, I know I've gotten questions like, do we have a bar program? And all we really have right now is the 21 day fix has a bar fix. And that's it. As far as I know, in Beachbody on demand. So having a bar program, it's a 60 day program. Um, it's going to be beginner friendly all the way up to still be very challenging in terms of um, your muscles and bar because bar is freaking challenging, but really maybe like the complete 180 from six weeks of work, but still challenging absolutely in its own right. So I'm really, really excited for that. I know a couple of you guys, that's like post baby time for you that you're like, this is my postpartum, like this is exciting. And it's not gonna be super, it's not easy. It's just gonna be a lower impact workout program. Okay, taking a breath. Did I miss anything major? Um, I don't know, but here's the thing. I just had, I'll do mine, then I'll toss it to you guys. We've got about 20 minutes. I will probably close this off with another thought that comes up as well, but having little moments with each of you guys there, like whether we are walking to a training together or, um, you know, somewhere else together and we caught a couple minutes, it was just really, really great to talk to you. And it was really great to be around you guys. And I missed my daughter. I missed my husband, but really like I felt such culture and community. France, thank you, Melissa. I will say that such culture and community being around you guys eating pizza, trying to get a wine bottle open, like all this stuff that happened the last three days was just a really, really great time. And yes, we had our fun, but we worked hard and we were at every training. We were up at 5 a.m. We were doing all the things. And it just really made me so proud of this team. And I know that, I know I had some conversations with you guys that you're ready, like you're ready to go for this. And I will tell you, I'll close the call by telling you how I'm going to help you with that. Um, but I'll share that more at the end. So, and Melissa Manning, yes, France, we are launching in France as of quarter two next year. So early spring, early to mid spring, there'll be more information, but just so you guys know, as you're growing your following on Instagram, um, Follow people from France. Do it. 40% of French people speak English, which is great. And we're, our workouts are already translated to French already. Uh, there'll be more information coming. I'm not going to say like, go invite people to coaching. No, just start connecting with people and don't not connect with someone on Instagram because they live in Paris. Like that's who you want to start connecting with. Okay. Um, there'll be more information closer to that launch. So, okay. Here's what I'm going to do. Again, I asked every, all the girls who went to summit, a couple people can't be here that were at summit, but just in your elevator pitch, take a couple minutes if you want. I'll let you know how we're doing on time. Tell people why, what you got from summit and why 
they need to be in New Orleans in 2020 um, because we're freaking going to blow it up. And I'm really excited. So by show of hands, if, if I see you, I'll just call on you. But I, I saw Daniela first. So take it. Oh, OK, go ahead. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. OK, hey, guys. It uh, feels like I'm back with you guys, which is awesome. The sense of community is still there, um, which was a big takeaway from Summit for those who weren't there. Um, the community is real. The team is real, real. These women are real. Like, dude, you just hang out and it, just, it works, right? Like, we're all a little different, sure, but we support each other. We have similar goals. We feel the same things, the ups and the downs. And so it's great to have this community. So I'm thankful for that. Um, I wanted to give like two little takeaways, one high level, one like daily work level. High level, um, we all have a story to tell, right? And so being in Summit kind of showed me that like, you're not too boring or too different or too unusual or too mediocre or too whatever you think you might be to tell a story that will resonate with other people. I have those doubts about myself. What is exciting about my life? To me, not a ton. But what I believe is that by watching all these people get on the stage who had immense victory and challenges that they overcame, et cetera, who aren't that different from me in a lot of ways, the magic is in telling your story and relating the emotions around your story to your post, making sure the emotion gets in there. That's something one of our training trainings taught us was that emotions are strong, connect your emotions because that's what, that's how people relate to you. Um, old normal versus new normal. Your old, old, like old normal Daniela would like binge eat and like feel terrible about it afterward. New normal Daniela better controls her food and has better portions and for the most part gets her eating right. Talking about your old normal versus your new normal helps your audience connect to you to be like, hey, my old normal or Daniela's old normal is what I'm currently in. It freaking sucks. I want her new normal. So that's something just to keep in mind when you're storytelling. Because people go, what the hell kind of a story am I telling? That's storytelling. So speaking of cursing, I'm excited about that program. Um, and then like doing work level, like like really close to the ground level. Um, if you're like me, you kind of, you tend to bounce around the boxes of the SC tracker, depending on what you kind of feel like doing. One of the trainers that we had said, he has a full-time job, by the way. So he's done, been doing this for five years, has a full-time job. He said, go through each box. What he does, he works through each box until it's done. He said he doesn't jump around and that's how he structures his day. I'm going to try that and I have a feeling it's going to help me a lot. So why New Orleans in 2020? Because it helps you believe better in yourself to be around this team, to get the training, to see all the people doing this. They really invest a lot into the summit. I recommend going. Thank you, Daniela. All right. Uh, Maria. Hello, Maria. everybody. Maria kept me awake as we drove home at 2 a.m., but go ahead. <laughs> yeah, that was good. <laughs> Thanks for driving, by the way. Um, okay, so two things. So like mine are like a little bit more broad, but um, so, like you need to be at summit because I gotta tell you, like I was like ready to quit before I went to summit. Cause I was just for, uh, I had lots of reasons. We all have lots of reasons, right? We have our excuses, but I can pretty much guarantee you that whatever your reason for like, maybe not being able to do being a coach or whatever, or even go, maybe, I, maybe your reason is to not go to summit, whatever. It's your mindset. Like 100%. I don't care what your reason is. It all bubbles down to like your mindset is off and summit literally like blows your mind. And is just like, no, like I'm freaking doing this. That's literally what it does to you. And, um, so like if you haven't gone all in summit is going to get you to that point. Like there's no question. Um, and then the other thing is like the thing I loved the most about summit was just that we had the opportunity to spend time with our team and like we all validated each other and like I just feel like when you leave summit you feel like okay like I was just around a bunch of people that made me see what I bring to the world like it, it like we were just really helping each other like figure out what to put in our stories and in sitting around saying like no hey I like when you do this or I love your pictures or like I love when you say stuff like this like that gives you meaning like that gives you your purpose and like it helps you to see what that is so I feel like if you take nothing else from summit you just need to carry the spirit of summit with you in like reaffirming each other's strengths just throughout the year until we get to the next summit Love that. Thank you so much, Maria. Oh, I was muted and I was talking. Sorry. I <laughs> said so thank you. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. Sorry. Why does no one respond to me? Okay, I'm just going to start calling. Because <laughs> everyone, I think everyone's cool with talking who went. So I'm just going to start calling. But thank you, Maria, so much for sharing. You're that. welcome. Great to travel with you. All right, let's go with Christy. 
All Are right. you good? Are you good? Christy had a lot. I'm okay. I'm getting there. I'm on the road to recovery. Um, thanks to Maria's uh, network in the airport. Um, so I was telling Ashley yesterday, like this summit was pretty much like top five most like meaningful, impactful experiences of my life. Like hands down, no fluff, no nothing, hand to God. If you are on the fence about buying your ticket, I am, I bought my ticket while they were there last year. So I had a whole entire year to figure it out and I figured it out how to get there. So just do it. If you just pull the bandaid off, get your ticket. Um, I would say like, I mean, I kind of believe that I could do it from, from the beginning. I've had my own limiting beliefs, but just being in a stadium full of like 20,000 people who are just trying to live their best life, trying to do better. Like the energy is literally like, you can feel it. It's, it's so incredible. It's so inspiring to hear other people's stories and to see people that are just like you. Um, but I would say like, honestly, connecting with the girls, connecting with the team was just like, I can't even, it was so amazing. And if you're one of those people, like I was telling my husband at dinner earlier, like I come from that group of girlfriends that like, that just gossip and, and talk and, and you never know what they're saying about you because you know, they're talking about everybody else. So I was like, it literally blew my mind that I spent four days with these women in close quarters and not one time nobody ever said anything about anyone all we did was like lift each other up cheer each other on validate each other talk about like where we've been where we want to go and how we're going to do it and how we're going to do it together like I've literally never experienced anything like that in my life so I mean who wouldn't want to do that you have to go it's amazing I, I got chills when you said that. It's true. Cause I think about my life as a, I'm a, again, I don't want to hold the time, but that's so true. Like we, we really do lift each other up and that is why it just validates our name and our mission. So thank you, Chrissy. All right. Uh, Heather Marie, I saw you when you might've been not volunteering, but I unmuted you. Wait, I didn't hang on. Now I did. Yes. It's all good. <laughs> um, so there, it was such a great experience. Um, I mean, I can echo what everybody has said so far. It was so fantastic to um, be with everyone. It's it. I always thought that these Zoom calls were super awesome because we all kind of got together. You know, we all get together and talk and stuff. But this is like a hundred times better than just being on a Zoom because you, like everybody has been saying, it just kind of helps maybe solidify our team. Um, just getting to know each other better. Um, some takeaways that I had, I would say, and this is something I said to you, Ashley, um, I think I've been overcomplicating everything in my head, even though so many people, you listen to the national wake up call, um, Ashley tells us, you know, these are the things you have to do. You need to follow the, the success tracker. And I think I, in my head, it was always like, oh my gosh, it's just, it's so complicated. It's so complicated. It's not complicated. I mean, it's hard work, but it's not complicated. So I think to me, in my head, it was like everything uncomplicated after listening to so many people share the way that they uncomplicate it. And it's not the same for everybody. We heard from coaches that, you know, post a long um, caption with their posts. Some people post short ones. And I think I have been so I need to come back up like out of the deep dive into the details and just be who I am and stop worrying so much about how am I, you know, coming across to other people? What does everybody want to hear from me? Well, they want to hear what I have to say, but I've been so conscious trying to figure out what people want to hear rather than being concerned with what I want to say that I it's become, I'm overcomplicating it. So listening to so many different top coaches share um, just helped me to kind of uncomplicate things in my head. Um, and it has, it's making me, I'm going to push to, it made me also realize that the goals that I was, that I had in my head for where I wanted to be in particular time frame were not big enough. So right. those are my biggest, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah. And we know your goal and yeah, we're going to sprint. Okay. Thanks, <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. And I'm going to, looking at time, we got about 15 minutes. I want to keep going through. Morgan, you want to talk? All right. I'm unmuted you. Can you hear me? Yeah. 
Cool. Um, so like Heather said, I can pretty much echo what everyone has said so far. Um, but for me, Ashley, she dragged me to Summit this year, pretty much. We laughed about it. Um, I bought my ticket because Rachel Hollis was going to be the keynote speaker, and she's my fave. And I thought, this is the cheapest I'm ever going to get to see her. So <laughs> I bought my ticket. I was on the fence for the longest time, and I, I just sort of one day just said, I texted Ashley and I said, I'm just going to go. I'm, I'm stop. I'm done making excuses about it. I'm just going to go. Um, and I haven't really been, uh, you know, very actively coaching. So like Maria, I was about to, I was about to throw in the towel. I was just like, I don't know if this is something I want to do, but I'm going to go to this and see and see what happens. And like everyone has said, the community that I experienced, it's, it's making me feel overwhelmed right now thinking about it. I remember sitting in the stadium the first night and I looked at Heather and I was like, this, it, this just, it's overwhelming. You can feel the energy from everyone in that room. It's infectious. And I, I've never felt anything like that. And I, I feel just by connecting with everyone and now following everyone and being on this call, I just, I still feel that community. And that is just something I, I've, I've never felt before. Um, and one of the things that I took away from speakers and all of that um, was my girl, Rachel Hollis. Um, she said, you asked for hard. You're creating a life that most people don't have. And this is hard. It's hard to, I got up at five o'clock this morning and went through all of my stuff. That wasn't easy to get out of bed, but I know that I have goals that I want to achieve. And Ashley knows that I have to sprint to them because they weren't big enough. <laughs> so, um, I had to get up early because I chose to create something that most people aren't shooting for right now. Um, I have a lot of goals for my future. I want to be able to travel and be with my family. And I know that this is what's going to give me that freedom. Um, and it, it was just an, an overwhelmingly amazing experience. And it is top five things that uh, I have done in my life so far, for sure. You have to go. Buy your ticket. Thank you. And I'll, I'll drag you guys, but I don't want to I'll drag Morgan. Thanks, Morgan. <laughs> All right. Um, Stephanie, can you chat? All right. I think I am. Wait. Okay. Go ahead. Hey, guys. So everything that everybody said, like I echo that a lot. Um, it was so awesome hearing from different coaches and just like their tips and tricks for where you're at in your business and lots of hearing the consistency aspect and just like knowing that you're on the right path with doing that. But even more so, um, the general sessions when we had the some keynote speakers, and that's the right term, Rachel Hollis, and then I think it was Jade Simmons was her name, like, and listening to these ladies talk, they just like lit you up. And it just kind of proves that no matter what you want to do with this business or really anything, like it's all in your mind. And you just make the decision of what you want to do and believe in it so much that your energy just spreads. And like that, like to me, that was what I took away is like the secret, like you just believe it and spread it and it, it'll be infectious. So, and I don't think you can get that through reading the articles on the coach zoom coming or like the coach news, whatever the page is called. Like you have to be there to feel it and it's just incredible and get to your super Saturdays. Like those are like little mini summits and they'll get you fired up, but like summit, like, oh my God, like it was incredible. I came back and told my husband like, oh, I like need to buy my ticket. And he was like, are you buying mine for next year? So we've got both of our tickets for next year and he's going to come along. He's excited about it too. So. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks so much, Stephanie. All right, Kath, I see you, girl. Hey. Okay, we have 10 minutes. So we've got a couple more people to get through. So not, no pressure, no rush. We want to hear from you. <gasps> I'll try and be quick. <laughs> um, so a few things. So first to, again, echo what people have been saying, just being able to connect with the team was phenomenal. Like, I was definitely one of the people who was feeling disconnected, not sure, like, where this was going like I wanted to be a part of a team I know I'm the CEO of my own company but having the support of everyone is really helpful and getting to go and meet everyone and be like yeah in person you people are just, like 
just as awesome, if not more awesome than what I read in your post. Like I get you, I see you like, and that was really great to be able to connect that. And then as far as like some summit takeaways, um, two big things and like you've heard this before but it's worth repeating i think organization and purpose like organize yourself get a plan going people talked about having like a marketing calendar a clear purpose um being like doing all your vitals using the tracker like it sounds so simple but like do it like don't say you're gonna do it do it and then as far as like purpose being really clear on your goals and your purpose like what do you want out of this business what do you want out of your life like this business can let you lead the life that you want. So it's important to not think of them as separate entities. Like they go together so clearly. So like when you get clear on what you want, you'll be able to focus better. At least I, th I think, I think I will. That's where I, the direction I'm going. I feel like I'm getting really clear now. Um, and something, um, one of the keynote speakers said was that like we are we're coaches. That's what we call ourselves. But like think of yourself as a transformation architect. Like, it's not about selling a product. It's not about, you know, how much money can I make? It's about being a transformation architect and, like, how can you help people transform their lives? And that's huge, right? Like, who doesn't want to be an influence in someone's life that can make their own life and someone else's life better? And that just, like, blew me away. And then the last thing that I want to say is, like, being at Summit, hearing all the people who spoke to – um like the general assembly and then our, our smaller sessions, like anyone, anyone can do this. There are people of all shapes and sizes, all races and ethnicities, all body types. Like someone, I saw someone who was in a wheelchair who had lost one of their legs. Like anyone can do this. So don't doubt yourself. Know that you can. It just takes, like someone else said, like the mindset and being clear on what you want. Thanks, Kat. And Tessa and Finn. Guests of honor. Well, Kath, you totally stole my transformation architect one, but it's cool. Um, my other one was, so I didn't really have a ton of girlfriends in high school and I am a chemical engineer. So I'm in a, in a predominantly male environment. And the women that are, that I have worked with in the past are ones that will do anything to kind of stab you with them back to get ahead of you and not really work with you, which is what I feel like you should be. And this weekend, we were in a room of 20,000, mostly women, who had each other's backs, who were lifting each other up, who were there to help each other succeed and get further in their business. Nobody was there to stab each other in the back and get further ahead than someone else. I mean, we were literally sitting there at one point, and Finn was crying, and a lady in front of me offered to hold her for a little bit so that I could have a break. And guess what? I handed my baby to a stranger because I trusted her and I didn't even know her. I still don't even know her name, guys. Um, but this was like just the feeling of being in a room with all these women who are willing to, to help you in any way that you need it. And they're not there to push you down to get ahead of you was like phenomenal to me because you don't get that in everyday life. And um, that to me just makes this business amazing because you don't find that often. It's a safe environment to hand your baby off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Tessa. And okay. Let me look at okay. So we have one more and this is just a crazy situation, but unfortunately, Melissa Manning's flight got terribly canceled and crazy stuff happened and she was not able to make it. But I want to shout out Melissa because this girl had a hell of a day on Thursday and it was stressful and we were all just hurting for her. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing she can do. It was just a terrible coincidence that she's not able to get to summit. But this girl texted me the next day and said, you know what? Bought my ticket for Super Sunday. Bought my ticket for Summit 2020. This is not going to define me as an unsuccessful coach. This is not going to derail me. I'm so excited. And I'm like almost going to cry saying that because like she – and she's a newer coach, you guys. She signed up a couple months ago. Like she had a crazy thing happen that she was not able to make it. And she bought her ticket this year and couldn't go. And just the fact that we woke up to those texts from her. So I really just want to like, I want to give you a hand and all the love because like you are amazing. I don't know if you want to say anything, but, <laughs> but uh, we have four minutes. So I just didn't know. Do you want, do you want me to unmute you? Okay. All right. Go ahead. Am I on? Am I going? You're on. You're on. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So rough travel day right and I for, I had a minute where I was like am I not meant to do this business am I being blocked for some reason and oh uh, now I'm gonna cry oh 
my sister reminded me that like one bad day doesn't define your life. And, you know, I want to be true to the goals I set to myself and, and my future. And so I'm not letting the fact that I couldn't be there with y'all this weekend define my next five years for Beachbody. Cause it's not about one weekend as important as that weekend would have been for me to be there. I have long-term goals. And, um, and I also was tagging Ashley too. So my, like my entire flight was canceled and I followed up with a lot of those ladies pretty much all 30 people didn't go to summit because it was such a bad day but the positivity the strength the support the high fives in the airport the cocktail shared the tears <laughs> we were so much i was crying um just made me believe in this business like y'all have been saying so even though i didn't go to summit i got that tiny little portion of what it would be like to be at summit um and then watching you all work out just i mean i had fomo but um just get belief in the business and how big it really is and how much impact it can cause for people around the world. It made me just that much more excited for my future. So I will be there next year. So I will, I walk there. I don't care. <laughs> so yeah, you will for next year. You will we'll ride our bikes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Melissa. And I'll see yeah. you in two weeks. Yeah. That's super yes. Sunday. Yes. All right. And did I miss anyone? I thought I saw Liz, but I think she may have logged off. Did I, anyone else not get a chance to speak that was here this year? Am I just, Okay. Um, all right, you guys, I just have one more thing to say, and it's super important. We're going to be a 10 star team this year. It's going to be a S H I T ton of work. I'm not a natural swear. Not that I'm trying to be someone I'm not, but sometimes this, this business does require getting really serious about your curse words, but listen, it's going to be really, really, really hard. It's going to be a lot of work, but it's going to be the best kind of hard work we have ever done. I need eight of you guys to be in this with me. Nine of you guys told me you're in. If you have not told me you're one of the nine, you can be one of the 10 and you can be one of the 11. The only reason I'm asking you to tell me is because I am not going to push someone who doesn't want to be pushed. I am not here to drag you unless you're Morgan this year. I'm not dragging anyone else. I'm not here to drag you to do anything you don't want to do. I am here to level you up to what you do want to do. And I'm not apologizing for that. I'm not. And I'm not going to chase you down. So if you're in, guess what we're doing? Every Saturday morning for the rest of the year, we are meeting on Zoom to have a quick accountability check-in of how many coaches, people you invite to the coaching opportunity. If you're one of the nine, you are there unless you are in a jungle with no service. Okay, I will confirm the times later, but you have to be there. I'm going to give up 15 minutes on a Saturday morning. You should be willing to do that too for your business. Second thing is I have bought a huge whiteboard on Amazon. We have less than a minute, so I got to hurry. And it came in today and I'm going to write those of you that are the nine, I'm writing your name and I'm writing your entire, your downline. Inactive coaches get a line through them because they don't count unless they're active. Every Monday I'm holding up the whiteboard and I'm showing you guys how your team looks and where it needs to look for you to get to diamond and where it needs to look for you to get to star diamond. Talk about accountability, right? I'm doing that for me too. I'm going to share because you told me you wanted this and we need to push. Diamond is not November. Diamond is in 30 days and we need to hit this early. We need to get this done. All right. I am tired of being stuck. I want to see y'all hit some goals and guarantee you the first person that goes diamond, everyone else is going to hit quicker because when one person shows it can be done, that is belief in and of itself. All right. More to come, but we're starting this Saturday. Thank you guys. Buy your ticket tonight because the price goes up for summit 2020 in new Orleans. Um,